welcome back to another episode of uh, War Tales, uh, the DLC, the pirate DLC is out. My name is Saiken and this is episode number two of playing that pirate DLC. We did a fresh start in episode number one where we got a base team of the four base classes and we're going to play with exactly those four base classes or four of the classes. Warrior, Swordsman, a Ranger and a Marksman and maybe we're going to take the new class as well but matter of fact this is uh, kind of in a playthrough where we're playing on extreme difficulty trying our very best uh, to play the game without stealing to make it a little bit more difficult and really just the most difficult settings uh, overall we are close to the first mine that i wanted to find for us and that's really where we're going to head next for now, let's camp one more time, and I think we finally are ready to get that cooking pot, right? Oh yeah, craft the cooking pot. We're getting a little bit more knowledge. I think what I want to get next is... Hmm, good question. I actually would like to get a couple more recipes for weapons. And maybe we'll we'll just keep that for now. We definitely have a cooking pot here. And that unlocks the new profession cook. And I think the permanent cook for this group, since it is a constitution based skill, is going to be Jim. Jim, congratulations my dude you're going to cook and what i would want to do is cook as much bread as we can jim on top of that will spend the rest of most of his days actually standing here and that'll give us more food so that the overall food consumption is less you can see we're down from 18 to 16 and to be fair we're just going to do rationing as well that'll get another three off the bill so we're down to 13 which is a good uh, po um, point to be for not continuously needing to eat and drink a lot i might leave the alcohol away for now Because that, in the base game, I don't know if they have patched it, but every single one of them is a drunk card, as a, uh, as a drawback. And drunk card is curable if you just don't give them alcohol for a longer period in, uh, in time. Little pro tip, it's it was the only uh, negative one that you could um, continuously get rid of. So, since we can't... Uh, well, we could blacksmith. Uh, we have actually blacksmith. We got to be careful here uh, not to lose uh, important experience. So we're not going to lose anything here. But we haven't done any alchemy yet. I'm not assuming that we're going to do alchemy anytime soon. So we just got to use. Uh, Got to get the collection prof uh, proficiencies really solidly leveled up. Once, oops, that was stupid. Once they are leveled up, you can get high level uh, equipment like uh, the better material, for instance. Okay, I see. So the moment that I miss just one of them, we're being injured, yeah? Wow. Okay, that's really a very, very harsh negative. That is new. Might be something f from extreme difficulty as well. So you better no longer miss any of them. This beast, no, why do you... The beast's fangs, you're right. We've got to kill him. 
Yeah. Listen, I don't want to pick a fight at this point. You are stupid in your own right. You can just stay there if you want. I simply want to get the other... Um, the other ore, and then we're off. The other ore is up here. There's another band of criminals, which we can get. So it's another 130 on our way. We got to be really select in the few fights that we're taking at this point. Stay on the road as much as possible. And just get better armor. Once we do have that and a few better weapons, we should be fine. This is the Brotherhood, right? No, that's uh, St. Leonard's Abbey. Oh, it has been a while since I've been uh, in the Virtues province. These guys are unfortunately not our target. Good, whatever. We're going to fight them anyways. Right, so I just read all of the details from from the description of what exactly extreme difficulty entails, and boy oh boy, um, yeah, that's quite a bit. So for starters, anyone who ever dies or runs away from a combat is lost forever. That is... That is massive. Let's hope it's not going to be the case here. I'm trying to keep it lighthearted and not lose anyone in the process. Poison, however, doesn't make it uh, very easy. be a kill. But we're staying right next to our friend. That'll give us extra Better points. And look, Jim is going to hit them and it's just going to defend. Deflection, 70% less damage taken next hit. We're behind enemy lines, so hopefully he hits his friend. No, he does not. Moves to here. That's a hit and a nice little kill. And hmm.
I'm moving over because I need help over here. That's okay. We can take a little bit of damage. Specifically since this is a kill. Uh, barely, barely can't reach him. Moves up. Hits, generates another Valor. Another hit, and another defense deflection. Very nice hit. Fortunately, barely out of uh, range for Fury. That stings. Um, moves to here. Shoots this guy. Produces Valor. Hit, burn, and we'll save the Valor for defensive skills. This guy doesn't have enough offensive potential. We're okay. Hit. And another deflection. All right, we got to finish this round. That should end the, uh, the entire combat. Yeah, okay, barely. Heavily, heavily poisoned. That was a tough one. For repair. We got ourselves a new dagger. That's not bad. Got lost the stab skill, but got the poisoning skill. Uh, salt would be great, but and wouldn't be bad either. But we don't have the necessary options yet. Get a new torch because I think. Gnome's torch is almost done. And I can also see that the food consumption and the happiness 
all of that is definitely more difficult than in normal. My ribs hurt, I still can't see clearly. Okay, happiness minus three. Good. Yeah, we... need to increase the happiness. Let's first of all get the bandits over here. Because I know that these guys, uh, yep, were, we require payment. And we cannot not pay them because of unhappiness. Extreme difficulty really took it to another level. The beginning is tough. Oh my, he reminds me of... Come here, you little... All right, let's go. But we need to win this without Roy dying. Uh, how about Roy, you just get back here. Or up there would be fine as well. Either way is good for me. Uh, Jim is gonna take the first round of the attacks. Wars tend to overrun if I'm not mistaken, unless they are in melee combat. I still double hit. Closing this flank here. Good hits. And of course, we're engaged in melee. Damn it, we need no new repair tools after this already foresee this going to be expensive yep hit that piggy Good, it's bleeding, which means it should die after this hit. Now, we're going to play that out because I want the food from the pigs. Was that the quest that we were looking for? I think it might be. Or 100% sure. Please, please. I don't want to. Locks are easier to pick. Well, you know, if anyone ever picks the locks, it's going to be you.
I need money, so we're, we need to sell something. Otherwise, we can't afford our guys, and that would be really, really, really problematic. Um... Good, that should be enough for now. Just trying to survive for now. And we'll need to upgrade the happiness as well. We work for a pittance all day. We won't go back. You negotiate for I knew I should look at them. Striking. How would I feed my family if all work at the miners stopped? Help. We won't go back. If you negotiate for us, we will pay you handsomely. Ah, uh, we just need... We just need two more. Hmm. I don't want the wanted status. Hey, I would... Oi! You black... We won't go back. If you negotiate for us, we will... I need two more renown without wasting much time. Look at them. How it's bad time. is that going to be? A hundred fifty. Holy! Family, if all work at the mine has stopped, help me. Can't do that. All right, we need to pick one more fight, and then we can clear this mine. Anything will do, really. Put more people over here, please. I want a little bit of happiness. Good. We can appoint one of them as a captain. I think it is clear that that's not going to be inappropriate Murphy. I think Jim uh, can be the captain. And that will cost us 50, so we're going to do that at a later time. At the moment, I'm looking to get a bit more renown. We're fighting five versus four. But we got a nice little set of traps here. Problem is we have a trap in the middle of that by ourselves. Hmm. The right way of playing this is to actually do something along the lines of this here. And then they need to go through the traps. That's okay. Get that henchman. And we're good.
Okay, that's the right position. Hit both of them. There we go. These guys are all coming through the same corridor, which is fine by me. I don't mind that. So that would be net. The net cost of that would be one. But I would be standing with the others. Hmm. Nah, don't think that is worth it. This is nice if we can close this corridor here everything is going to be so much easier Just moving out. This guy almost got us, but not quite. We lost our offhand attack. Good, that's two down. And these guys are having problems coming closer. I hope they are running through the trap. No. For mysterious reasons, uh, they are able to not do that. Someone wants to move behind you. Nah, we're moving to here so that we do have a second person who can come in. We destabilize him so that the shield doesn't count and attack. Nice. Good moving out of the way. Good hit. Can't reach it. Oh, barely out of range, okay.
Very good. So that's a kill. And we're done. Good, that should give us the renown that we are looking for. And we got ourselves medium armor. Guard plus eight and we even got two of uh, those. So we're looking at massive improvements of armor for the front line. Which is great. Unfortunately, our weapons are still absolute garbage. Yeah, we don't want a difficult bandit camp. We definitely cannot take that yet. Our renown is high enough to solve the problem up there without getting wanted. Want to fight spirit wolves, please? We won't go back if you negotiate for us. We will pay you. Hand. That miser is threatening. Tell him to calm down. We'll get good. You solve that no problem answer, nicely. And we got influence, plus, we got ourselves. Did we get a trinket? We're back in business. Didn't we get a trinket of sorts? Now, that's sorted by type. <laughs> Okay, I'm either blind or we did not get a trinket. I was under the impression we got one. Yeah, never mind. Let's start uh, the actual mining process. I found out, by the way, part of the difficulty is also I'm not allowed to miss any of those swings. If I do, we'll get a wound. So it's the only way for us to even get to materials cool got enough iron got a decent amount Got a decent amount of leather as well. With the changes of not being allowed to run away, that also means if we're ever engaging uh, the Ghost Wolf pack, that will be a problem. Wares, my good sirs. Yeah. Nah. <clears throat> I need all of the materials that I can get to start crafting now Oh, what glorious battle it was. That sounds great. That sounds also good. But that is the best one. We want uh, the relationships to always improve. As those are the best permanent bony. Oh yeah, that was our quest, not our trade-in.
But our way will lead us now finally back to our the main town. Before we're of course collecting the bounty. Thank you. Let's review. Is there anything else we can do on our way? No, no, no. We're good. Thanks. This inn is mostly a rest stop for travelers on their way to Marheim. Most people only stay for one night. A little bit of ale uh, for our way. Good. Our target will be back there, Marheim. And then hopefully, hopefully we'll get an armor upgrade and a couple of weapon upgrades. Really having a hard, tough time just getting through all of this here. Ambush the car caravan, that is something that we can do soon. Before we move in, there is still an easy pack up here. And we can use some more leather, so might as well also get the boars killed. Good, we got a nice little surprise for them. What is this? Rusty hatchet? Nice. That's a new one. Couple of traps, rusty hatchet. Oh, nice hit. I like it. Get them down as fast as possible. Should equip. Should equip uh, the uh, torch. Got an easy repair, but we got a lot of it, uh, a lot out of it. Grease and food and leather. Apparently we do not have uh, enough cloth. That is something that we will definitely need to get. Um, typically you can get those from refugees if you are willing to kill them. Oh, these are reduced. Uh, we're going to take them. Thank you. Sort by weight.
good. I think we're just... We're just going to forge one throwing hatchet. Respectively four. That gives him some experience. We're almost uh, leveled up. And we're going to create that in the next town, the Rex, for the rest of our uh, group. But before we do that... Oh, damn it, we were... We were exhausted, but we still need to fight. Let's go. 4 vs 4. Unfortunately, we're pretty exhausted. Nice little crit. Also there. At least gets a Veiler. I want them to come a bit closer so that we can hit them with uh, that spear for extra damage. We're leaving one slot open so that uh, Fluffy Janitor can come in. Ouch. Rust out really hits hard. Poisons him. It's good. And this here is a bit of a problem. Not a huge one. But we need to take care of it. Oh boy, we're taking a lot of damage. Let's hope we can finish this guy before it's too late. Hit. Into hit. And to take less damage. Reflection is on.
Good, he's surrounded and he cannot easily strike us. I still support. We're going to get his stupid guard down. He's stabilized and hurt. All right, nice aggro juggling. Um, yep, eat the axe. Very nice. Fortunately, we've taken a couple of wounds, so that'll be costly. And I, I don't think we have a lot of medicine left. But we got enough to heal. And we got ourselves a very, very nice shield. So, one gnome to rule them all, finally can become something. The question is, what do we want to let him be? Poison build is good. I like the cutthroat, but I really like the assassination build. For now, we're going with Poisoner because I personally like Poisoner a lot. We're continuing to put Willpower up. I want 15. Mentioned that already. And our horse, Roby. Begins to... Uh, level up as well. Where is the carry capacity constitution, right? Good. Roby is just there for carrying, not for anything else. Jim gets a new shield. That shield loses the ability to uh, have protection, but it has more guard and more armor, and guard is important. Can we also point you as a captain? Yes, please. Where's the strategy table? Oh, I can potentially learn that. Um, in terms of actual equipment, I would like us to be able to get more weapons. Cooking pot level 2, definitely worth the skill point. No, we're not uh, learning any recipes yet. Uh, we could increase carry capacity. And we could definitely reduce wages paid because currently we're hemorrhaging cash and 10%. Uh, those are just 
the bare minimums that you will need at the beginning. Good. We know how to make bread. That's okay for now. Cool. Everybody is happy. And we can finally, after such a long time, this is, by the way, the Brotherhood, but we don't have nearly the amount of money needed to actually buy something. I would like to get Sprint. You're not bothering me. I just finished eating yeah, my mutton stew. What would you like to work on today? A specific skill? A weapon upgrade? I would, would like to work on a lot of specific skills. My parents love to be honest. We're next. Yeah, well. We'll get there in time, guys. Since we do a non-stealing play, uh, playthrough. We need to be extra careful in getting the money to, in order to buy the skill books. That and equipment will be our main expenses. Good. We fought. Enough battles. Double checking some of the merchants. Might I interest you in my humble wares? And finally, we're back in Marheim, where all of it started. Um, let's go to the market and get cloth, because apparently we were unable to locate any. And secondly... How can we sell anything in this stench? I complained to the Lady Mayoress at least ten times this week. I would offer wine to go with your cheese, but the Unfortunately, we can't really cook anything else, and the recipes are too expensive at the moment. We need to really focus on the main uh, stuff, which is forging... Let's get Tattered Rex uh, times two. Yes, please. We're doing another a set of racks just so that everybody has an armor. Good, which means you and you suddenly more than double uh, your defensive capabilities. Fantastic. So, what's not so fantastic is we don't have the ability to learn anything else. We can learn the reinforced buckler. But we have a good shield. I would really like to learn more weapons. We forged all of the weapons, or most most of them. Got a couple of throwing weapons available, which is fine. 
And in terms of blacksmith, yeah, we're nowhere near the journeyman where we uh, where we want to be. The problem is we can't do anything at the moment without learning more. We definitely have a couple of skill points that we could do, uh, but so far that's not very helpful. Let's see if we could get anything in the path. So we have been a decent explorer. Crime and Chaos, not surprisingly, didn't work that well so far. Deserters fleeing an abusive captain. Kill the leader in the first few fights. Okay, cool. We uh, They added spe uh, specific rewards based on your background. Interesting. So yeah, we can't really get anything here yet, but Mystery and Wisdom looks okay at the moment. For money. Companions will search body for the mo- uh, mm, Yeah. Would really like to learn a couple of weapons. Suspicion meter depletes faster. I think we're just going to learn the basics. More money and more Valor points. That's fine. Basic knowledge is efficient. Just getting a lot of trades in. The problem that I'm seeing is without the crafted weapons, we're relying on basic weapons, and don't get me wrong, but I basic weapons not so super without good. The vineyards, no need to circle new barrels. Good, double checking our camp. Can we tinker anything that is meaningful? Besides the Python, that is. Good, we could do a cooking pot upgrade. I think we should do that. Gives us four, um, four food, which almost covers all of the food needs. The tent isn't bad either, but at the moment we couldn't really put a lot of people next to it. I would like to upgrade the campfire if we can. Let's see if that's an option. Next cooking pot can be upgraded. How much does the campfire cost? Uh, coal, wood and sandstone. Sandstone is the next highest component when mining, but our mining has upgraded already a little bit. And I'll we did have this here. One, freeze. two, three, Without four, five. Uh, as a, house. in a cheaper uh, version, coal typically costs one more, so he does uh, have them for bargain price at the moment. Okay, see, I would call that a partial success. We have gotten some of the stuff that we wanted, but definitely not everything. And what was for here, by the way? Might you be looking for work? Here is your reward. I would like to get a bounty. Get another bounty. And we'll make some money. 
and after we have made some money we will uh, do the liberation quest might I interest you in my humble wares my good sirs that's 150 for a fine bow mm. and that's a helmet medium helmet Armoflage skill. Damage taken reduced while the unit is not engaged. Oh, it's not bad. That's a good helmet, actually. The bow isn't bad either. But I had a fair share of problems with burning stuff. This here for 40 is steel. I like it. Medium armor. Let me just double check you can now wear light armor and that means you get the damage is 25% uh, greater against poisoned units uh, yeah thank you and you get this prestigious cock swine helmet where you're taking 20% less damage when you are not engaged that sounds like an awesome option to me also you do have 17 which means there's an off tank that is good. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my Ooh, good sirs? That's that would be used for an upgrade, but we can't always buy everything. That's just not how it works. Also, we need medicine. Good. The cool part is, thanks to our upgrade, we only need 11 food now. Unfortunately, our food is getting shorter and shorter. On the other hand, we do have 15 uh, happiness, which is good. Let's get uh, these guys here, whilst everybody is happy. Three enemies, one archer in the middle of a mud field. That's never great. See, okay. Wow. Not a single one can reach them. Well, how about we're just starting with the archer and the fact that brushes are unfair. Okay, our janitor wouldn't be able to really move in, right? No. Damn it! Can I delay? surprise that the guy is moving in
Oh, look at you! That's an a that was a nice AOE strike. I think we can't even get to him. Wonderful. At least let that poacher force him to wade through the mud so that we can reach him more easily. There's no point in rushing right to him. Fabulous. Okay, well, that'll be a kill and hopefully the end of this engagement. Thank you. Let's hope we did not get a wound from it because we don't have medicine at the moment. No, we just needed to repair. And Fluffy Janitor got a level from it. So, deflection. If you engage, you get one. Every time a, your attack hits several uh, enemies, you get one. Every time you engage in combat. Yeah, we're going to take that. Because with Executioner together, it is fantastic. Also, willpower to 14. Thank you. Loots everything. We got ourselves a really good three-star Assassin's Ringleader Kaif. That is super good. Critical hit, willpower, assassin skill. And with that, we're already at willpower 15, which means we could skill something else. That's good. Uh, besides, can we wear light helmets? No. But. Our frontline can. It's a little bit extra armor. Granted, we could do better, but it's better than nothing. But let's quickly get these guys here. That's a surprise. Good. Leader's aggression. What do we have on the battlefield? Always check that. Bear, bear trap. Nice little rusty hatchet, which we're going to use. I like it. There are stones. Always good to have. To have your sniper behind the stones. But we're starting here, like the idea of getting directly in access to the enemy's backline. And even if that means we're now going to get a small attack and a bit of poison. little hatchet into the back <laughs> bleeds hallelujah <laughs> executioner is still working so well love it Uh, 
Okay, well, that is also working well. You gotta give credit where qu uh, credit is due. Yeah, unfortunately, didn't finish right next uh, to our assassin. Elsewise, we would have gotten an extra Valor point. And that would have been enough to finish this guy. Well, too bad. Bit of repair. And we're looting. What did we get? Another ringleader's coif with three stars. Holy. Also, Jim. Got a nice little promotion here. Unit gets deflection. If they are engaged in combat, you gain one. I like that. Every time this unit engages in combat, you gain one. Uh, the damage taken is really, really good. But I think we're going to do the Valorous Duel into Bul Bulwark, uh, the Duelist build. Willpower is now 15 for Jim. That is good. Another one done. Good. We got our missions done. Now it's time to earn enough to leave the region. Maybe we don't even need to liberate the region. Maybe all we need is... My good sirs. Hey, all we need is the the two hundred uh, to uh, pay them off. You know, I'm thinking about it. it might really not be the worst idea, but we're pretty short on cash overall, so. I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs. You know what? I'll take all of that uh, simply because corn is rare and having corn will help us to bake and baking good because bread, believe it or not, until the end of the very game is one of the most efficient ways of feeding, of feeding your troops they might not like it to just eat bread but it's still okay good we got aptitude points which is great um yeah i think one norm rules them all is now investing into dexterity. Although, I think I'm wrong. I think he's investing in movement. I want to get to 16 movement. And then we're going to invest in either dexterity because we have the plus five percent there 
Um, but typically the weapons already carry a lot of dexterity, so we're going to invest in crit. If you're here to tell me to sell up, my answer is no. My uncle will be back soon. He went. If you're looking for work, I could do with an escort. The truce is rife with bandits and wild animals. Perfect. This is the meeting place. If you haven't. Good. We would want to get him uh, as an escort, anyways. I'll never convince. Why won't he settle? In terms of mining, you could e easily switch back to alchemists. Can we craft something? Yeah, we can't really do a lot of oils at the moment. Oh, I've missed this shop. One, Being outdoors is much more exhausting two. than anticipated. What can I get you? One, two, three, four. We just get another one no uh, I think we got one oil every time the skill deals damage has 30% chance to increase the strength that would be of course absolutely fantastic for something like an axe if our axe wouldn't be absolute garbage we could take that I've missed this shop. Being outdoors is much more exhausting than anticipated. What can I get you? Good. Um... Inappropriate Murphy does have 10 out of 80 alchemy. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. He can theoretically switch his skill again I, uh, to, to mining. I just want to make sure we have our stuff together. And specifically, the medicine was important. Now we do have tool, uh, tools and medicine, so we're okay. But we don't have a salt. We'll get that. And then we get our income, and we should be okay. How so. How can we sell anything in this stench? I complain to the Lady Mayoress at least. She be looking for work. Here is your reward. Good. You can see we're now out of out of easier stuff. Now it's just the hard stuff, and with our equipment currently, I don't think that we realistically can do that. I'm concerned about the vineyard disease. It's confined to the uh. truce at the moment, but. Okay, I promised we're going to do some quests here, and here will be the first two quests that we actually need to do. There's always five, uh, five quests in order to liberate an area. I interest you, my humble wares, my good sirs? You actually can, because I need a bit of liquor. Thank you. And 
and that's pretty much it. Never seen toma uh, tomatoes, uh, so they need to be new. Cool that they added a couple of new uh, recipes as well. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Milk is rare and can be used very often, but I have no idea from the top of my head. I remember a couple of good recipes had milk in it. Good, getting another bounty here. On an open field, these guys are super far away. Uh, yeah. A very great position for you. The AoE damage still works out so well. With the increase of uh, all of the abilities by one Valor point, really a lot of the one Valor point abilities become in extreme mode less interesting, to be honest, because you're almost oftentimes better off to go for a two uh, originally two uh, Valor Points attack because that now costs three so the increase relatively speaking is only 50% whilst the other skills are uh, increased in cost by 100% that's really interesting So much damage. Nope, I'm not going to shoot 37% chance to hit my own guy. It's not happening. I really like the smaller combats, the 4 versus 5 and so on. That's not too bad. The reason why I like it is I can showcase about 4 or 5 of these combats in a single video instead of like one combat where we're going to see just how to deal with a 30 versus 30 type of scenario i don't i don't think that that is very uh, very good for youtube videos so originally i wanted to do a run with uh, one of each class turned out but uh, I had that. Uh, that was the original War Tales run, and the party still exists. Didn't want to start with uh, kind of that party fresh out of uh, the uh, the gates, mainly because uh, they had like 150,000 uh, gold pieces, uh, almost unlimited fame stored up in all of the items already. So it. Oh wow! Uh, just realizing. This here is a barrier that we cannot uh, that we cannot climb over. 
Great. Rain in this ga game, guys. I'm telling you, it's absolutely fantastic. So back to what I was uh, saying. So I had the original party and the ori uh, the idea when uh, this uh, DLC came out was, hey, why not take that original party and give it a give it a good spin. Uh, the problem that I'm seeing with that idea is. Number one, the party has played on expert and not extreme difficulty. I don't know if that if there is actually a difference. If you can, well, there is a difference. I don't. I know that, uh, but I don't know if you can just switch back without a, a problem. So that number one, number two, they had so much stuff, so many abilities that it felt incorrect not to start uh, to start off fresh this here is good i like it i like the idea that you can start fresh in a new area one that you have not yet uh, fought in from the beginning that is the poison stacks so massively just look at the amount of poison that comes in. This guy will take a hell of a uh, damage, just, yep, 12 points of damage. Effectively, just for being poisoned. <laughs> Good, next turn, I can tell you what he is not going to like. A nice little surround. Coupled with more poison, getting him up to 13. He will strike us back once, and then he takes like 15, 16 points of damage, 20 even. <laughs> the poison. The poison too strong. Poison Bomb is one of the skills that's still valid even now that it costs 2 instead of 1. Inappropriate Murphy takes the Hunter comes able to wear light armor. Yeah, we are looting not really much there other than Corporal's Roundel. Got the exact same shield. This one is level 1, this is level 2. Yeah, there you go. Small upgrade for you, Jim. Okay, so to finalize the train of thought that I had, after all was said and done, I was like, well... Cool! Uh, yeah, produce grapes, my dude. So after all was said and done, I was uh, thinking, 
Why not start a run with four people? Make it a bit of a challenge run. That way... It's gonna be fun. For everybody. And on top of it... You're going to experience that new difficulty from the very beginning. Good. We got one of these new guys here, a scoundrel, with those fist weapons. Festus, I think is what they're called. Two assassins. Wow, a lot of DPS. Let's build our little camp back here. Moving up, get the Festus guy into melee combat, and Jim gets the first Valor point. Oz takes a uh, little bit, uh, first a little bit of uh, poisoning. Fluffy Janitor. I want to hit both of you. Nice, critical hit for bleeding. Fluffy, you're the best. It's likely going to take the brunt of these attacks here, but we do have extra damage reduction. This guy continues to be surrounded. What? It's for 18? No, 22 even. Holy shit, this guy needs to be the first target. I mean, think about it. He was in quote-unquote defensive stance, whatever that means. And he hits for more than our assassin. Okay, I need to get that new character class. He seems to be properly imbalanced, so that <laughs> everything is gonna be fine. Oh yeah, triple hit. Hit. Get some more points. And kill him. Then we're moving forward. And healing ourselves. Oh, it only works on allies. Yep, never mind. turn you really need to think about whom and what you want to kill let's 
crazy just how that um, increase of ability cost completely changed the meta. I tended to be way, way more liberal in how, how I used the skills. Wow. Dying? What? What? From one hit? Alright, confused. Destabilized. I can't believe that we got into dying state just by one hit. The enemies are really tough. heal the dying state and we have an 8 repair all we got is a lousy level 2 dagger gnome gets a tiny bit more damage out of that and that's all there is to it Wonderful. And the whole wages thing, that seems overtuned as well. I mean, it is extreme, and I think they just wanted to make it really, really extreme, like the name suggests. But boy, it is harsh. Uh, no, no, no. Carrying capacity is okay. I think we're just going for 10 carry capacity. It's not bad as a start. Good. And since I promised you guys we wanted to actually start the quest for liberating this area. I'm here to congratulate welcome all donations to have. I can't wait for this shame this family only has. How well the disease affect Uh what was our job here? The wedding banquet. Provide flowers and food. We welcome all donations to her flower crown and the banquet. It'll bring. But is one enough? Yeah, why not? Here. You've given your donation. Fair enough. We welcome all donations. I can't wait. Shame this family only. But the disease affecting. Oh, 
All right, give five flowers. And there we go. We welcome all donations to her. Ambush a caravan and capture the woman. From me. We need chains. We don't even have that. I think there was an alternative way around it where we do not need to actually um, capture them. Did you hear everything we said? Good. Great. We shouldn't dally. Let's go. Uh, who was the thief? We got uh, the new profession thief. Um, I think we did want to play without being a thief, so I'll just skip that, although... There is plenty of uh, options that you could do in order. In order to increase the skill. I think the other topic is blacksmith. Uh, we need to upgrade that in order to get better weapons. So we'll do that as and when time permits. Since we currently are not mining, might as well pick up all the materials that we have on the ground. Okay, see the idea is I would like to smith weapons as soon as possible, but I am keenly aware that that is not as easy. Need to pay our guys and that lead to a bit of unhappiness. Should have put into the campfire for now. Good. We're Stand double crossing her. We let you off lightly, last. We're not after the Abbey. It's Nonsense. Broker old what mother. does he know? You hired mercenaries. That does it. Very good. Final fight for this episode. All right. So we got Molen here. And this Ravenger will be the first one to be slowed and not do anything for now. Alright, we're going to stay back here and let them come. Swordman, we better not draw him into the bigger 
uh, a bigger line because he will have AoE cleaving attacks and that's typically quite nasty. Good hit. Moving all the way over here. Okay, interesting decision. dead yet. I like it. That could be a kill. Cost us net one. Unfortunately not zero like it used to. Of his guard, which is good. Destabilization is a fantastic skill. And Jim will tank him. This here is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I figured as much. This is not a problem. I'm going to be fine. Moves to here. Hits this guy first, and then slows him down. Moves back, still gets one Valor. We're okay. It's barely out of uh, out of range. That's a bad position to be in. Poison for both of you, and let's move up. Getting the surrounded bonus. Crit, I don't like it. But we're getting one extra point, one Valor point. Another one. Good. She was the actual leader. Thirty four, nice crit. We need our better weapons, which 
Just generally our weapons are really not good. One-handed sword. And we got team strike. That seems good. Much better than what we had before. Deals damage. Damage increases for 50% for each Jason ally. That is fantastic. It's a really, really good sword. Good. And that also means our uh, provin uh, province quest has... Uh, it has progressed quite a bit and it brings us i think to the end of today's episode not only does the game uh, did the game just start to shit itself it's also pretty much an hour in i want to do the future episodes a little bit shorter let's Out finish way, you slaughtered us. We have no how could these people course we this is a there is only the eye you're not going to stop us from killing the plague with are you? I guess it would have been difficult for them to... Very well. We'll let them... I was worried. I do not know what they prompt. Good. We get a nice we little emblem. Had come. I think we also... There was a golden key that you could use in order to get into the cellar. If I'm not mistaken. We got an emblem. Profession experience gained by the troop increased by 5%. That is absolute monstrously good. Very good. Look, that's a perfect uh, ending for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. If you like War Tales, leave a uh, thumbs up and a comment down below. How do you like the new class? How do you like Extreme Difficulty? I'd like to hear your opinion in the comment section below. See you in the next episode and have a good day. Bye-bye.